Easy. Okay, you can see. What the hell is this? Some sort of animals and. Or maybe it's a slave. What the hell? I'm kind of scared. I feel like there's some sort of like a. a demon. Some sort of like. thing. I can't really see much. Oh my god. A letter. Let's look at the letter. What? What did it say? Definitely, it's not something good. Like whatever that. If people at the end is the letter or whatever says like, "God save us all," <laughs> that like most of the time you normally see it is like horror movie or like something's like bad okay oh. another one together with the music as well, so like all of a sudden the music's literally change in some, some sort of like a mother, it's always linked to a, a mother oh my god Letter from. Okay. I don't want alcohol or cigarette. So you can see a bat here. You can see some blood stain dragging to that. Oop. At this point, I need this first person. Just make it more. See, boom. A missing girl. Okay, we see. I feel like some sort of like a crazy person kidnapped some young girl just to pretending to to be the mother's. More fucking. Whoa, this is some seriously some. Everything shit, especially oh my god. The worst thing is, look, his mouth got so oh, got cut off, so body got cut off, <laughs> leg destroyed in there. Some animals. Oh my god, look at this one. The knife in his eyes. That one. Oh 
another hand, some salt. What the? Oh. <laughs> Have you come for me? Or was this all nasty surprise? Or maybe it's both. Um, Maybe it is a nasty surprise, even though you knew I was going to be here. Which is it? No, actually, I don't. You, you sick think about that. mugger. Save yourself Girl. thinking about what's about to happen. Now, oh no. I'm not going to lie. It's not going to be nice. And fun. I mean, it'll be. Yeah, fun I'm not actually. Me, but it won't be nice for you. <laughs> Eat that. Oh. One more. You. Such a disgusting. This is for all the people. First of all, my hat, of course. Okay, let's let's time him up first before anything. How can you sleep here when like all the bodies here? I mean this guy is just a sicko for real. He's a sicko for real. Okay girl. Yep. First of all, obviously I know that we're going to, obviously we are going to the sail, but what kind of thing is that? What I want to do, I want to fall into some sort of animal and torture him, but obviously we don't have a lot of them, that's not much, sort of like an angry animal there. Maybe, maybe, you know what? Miss, let's, let's drown him. Bye bye. I know I failed, it, but I just want to do it for that because 
what what he done is so f up. It just just damn. I mean, I understand, like, killing people and stuff, but, well, I mean, I don't understand killing people, but I understand, you know, but that's, that's crazy, man. No, like you need to be like a. What I want is here. No, push a little bit, a little bit more. Yeah, sounds about nice. So if it will be. Maybe a little bit there, little bit there, little bit there. Yeah, he keep pushing it, but uh, I think it's fine. Okay. Yeah, about right. It will be the perfect mean beef. Now we just kind of I'm just waiting for the the trains coming and then it will be happy ending. I think the train goes stop here. That feel good. I'm not a psycho, but come on. Found that feather you were looking for. Which feather? Yeah. Put him on the floor and let's take a look at. Him. Put him down. Put him down. Fell up and it's been well. Ain't nothing nice. A lot of folk disappeared over the past few years. This sick son of a bitch, well, he ain't running ahead. That's so. Yep, that's him. Uh, head over to the cellar of that broke down shack on the road to the falls. See for yourself. Okay, come on, Eve. My name is Edmund. Edmund Lowry Jr. And you'll remember that, my friend. I'm sure I shall. You know, you are a frightening fella. Well, I'll behave, sir. I'll behave as expected. Well, you better. And I'll get you a lawyer, don't you worry about that. You get in that cell, come as you be. Get him off me! Get him off me! So I kill him? What happened? Did nothing. Uh, thank you. I didn't kill him. My lord, what a monster! Yeah. Well, like I said, have someone head up to his cabin. Uh, I think he killed quite uh, a few. Oh, there's a lot of sick bastards out there. 
Right here. Here. Here's some money for your trouble. Thank, Thank you, you very much. What a mess! I was like, thinking about Bet more. Come on, he's like a serious Where's killer. By the way, I didn't kill him. Yep. But I think the the game design that he had to be dead. I guess that's the plan, but you know. What is up guys? Welcome back to GWT Goons. Today's we got a new episode for you. So following to the last episode we got that we need to find this guy who Basically, I guess who we'll sell kit to other places, and then we find this guy, and then now we find Dutch there you are. to um, what else do you get ready to. Guy? Yeah, I have no I'm idea what's going on, but can say better, better than myself. So we find out that this guy live in obviously very powerful, very rich, and live in the ma this house look very fancy in middle middle of the city. So you know that he's rich and everything. So excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh. Run along now, boy. Oh. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I died. Night. And by the way, I uh Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. I got some new outfit. Looking fresh. You know, now we're in uh, we're in a big city, we have to dress like a city folk, you know. We need to be a little bit fancy. So this guy. Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, Stinking of shit and looking like this and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Fake cocky you have. Now We are simple country folk all we have is each other and you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers it ain't got nothing to do with any one of us you had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business we was innocent bystanders and that which we weren't innocent of well we we most surely were ignorant of you twist words, you twist lie shamelessly. Word. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> that is the very steel woman. <laughs> Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Uh, so, uh, the pleasure is mine. Huh? John Mars. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> it just. But uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? 
Of course I know you would not want that, huh? Of course they want us to do something no, no, for him. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me? Of course. And it's always it's always a simple job. A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Okay. I, I was thinking about like they whopping some <laughs> bank or something. <laughs> See they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Robbing something. I mean, of course they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Leen, huh? you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Uh, salute. That. Okay. Let's go, bro. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. Idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good. Holding your tongue in there. Not talking. You trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? No, I do not. We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone. Uh, that doesn't worse. mean that poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope he's okay. He'll be fine. I figure the Braithwaites were going to hold Jack Grant for all the money we cost him. We must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaites left to pay him. Jack ain't much used to him anymore. Let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Let's see. I feel like this is okay. not just a simple job. It's it. probably like Keep a couple, couple thing that we need to do. No, I don't. I'm not thinking about bringing in them. Can we just get out of there? We should go on foot from here, Arthur. I know. Okay, I got the weapon. Just need to follow me. Let's see, make a this way. I mean, who does this? Who like? Why is right. it? Let's see what's going on in here. I mean, who does this? Who's like? Keep um, down. Don't want him to bolt on us. Mhm. Mm You won't care once we get the boy back. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Sorry for your friend, but just get out of here. You should get out of here, mister. It ain't safe. I hear something 
in there. It's a trap. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Instead of in the graveyard killing people. Crazy, that guy just city for is different, I guess. Twenty. Damn, those guys are rich. And then there's John. Who's this with him? Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte and behave. Let's have a look where they first shot at it. <sighs> Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Mm-hmm. For sure. Come on. Let's quickly check that spot where it all kicked off. I think there might be something in here. Why did that thing? Yep, the law is here. Let's see if that Locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Okay. Just need to be quiet then. Let's go around the side. Come on, come on, come on. I'm not here trying to fight the law. Come on. My my messed up? Can't go that way. Okay, I'm good leaf.
Oh, damn it. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Like, come on. Going that way, so depend this one. Do this. Hmm. How the hell can we get out of there? When it's two of them is Is he going this way? Okay, let's get out of here now. Come on. Okay, come on. This time is much more successful compared to the last time, so. Let's just get out of here. It's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there. What else is out here? You all right? Best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Well, let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he had? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, we'll just see where we're at once we got Jack. Come on, we got this. Well, you took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Thank you Mr. Bronte you for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur. Okay. Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> I don't really trust him. And us, just simple country boys. Let's go. We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Yeah. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte. 
he said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. A little bit of a uh, father and son moment. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? Spaghetti. It mm. looks like worms, but it's delicious. I... Is that right? Like... Those are like kid love. It love like spaghetti. That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Ooh, fancy. I'm just glad you're alright. Oh yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then. Most enjoyable. Well, Drinking. the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap no. of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. I'm sure. Unbelievable. It's always us. Strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A garden? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Of course. Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least that's the way he sees it. Could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days. But we can finally move forward now. You keep you say the last You say the last last time it was exactly the same thing. Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son! Everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama! They said you were good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Like we promise, of course. I got my son back. Jack, 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 Jack. I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail. Can I go play now? <laughs> so, Hi. well, we met Mr. Bronte. Hmm. He is uh, quite a character. A charming. Is he now? Yeah. yeah. Meet an Italian strong man before. <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well. Let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur. Thanks. Just... Mm -hmm. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boys say thank goodness. Everything thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank That's you. okay. I understand. Yeah. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Now we're back. Oh, we got money so as well. Oh no, it's, I think it's the last time, but oh well. I mean, I didn't get a headshot. No, I'm pretty sure I got a headshot. But. I feel like <laughs> Look at that just I could be, I could be the professional. Oh, 
no se alegra el cielito lindo los corazones. Ay, 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 canta y no llores porque cantando se alegra el cielito lindo los Just one song? Let's look at the picture I, I took. I believe I took some pretty good stuff. So let's have a look. I got some pretty good pictures. That's nice. That one's up. Uh, see, it's good to see Jack is happy and laughing. And uh, some portrait there. And happy. Actually, I might. Okay, well since like at the ends we got the happy endings which is good. And It's a party. When's the last time they've been that happy? I have no idea. So I'm going to end this episode right here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Jack is back. Everyone's happy. Everyone having a good time at this point. So everyone dancing. Everyone well, not much, not many people dancing, but people drinking. So that's a good sign. So I guess I see you on the next week. Take it easy guys, Wong out.